This is Juan and Gymnasium on the campus of the Sidwell Bread School. And this is the fourth and final quarterfinal match of the DC Hockey League season. We have the number two seed, Iron Man Gold, wearing, as you may have guessed, gold, against the number seven Snake Eyes wearing the brown. That is Phil trying to race Kelly to the ball. Uh, Snake Eyes finished the season two, seven, and one. Gold finished the eight and two. Kelly plays it behind to Chris. It is Kelly, Chris, Etienne, and Angelo starting for gold, while for Snake Eyes right now you have Phil, Gavin, Uzed, and Janelle. Two big saves by Brian Mitchell off the breakaway. Now Angelo has it. He's going to look for a backhand. Can't quite get around the defense. Fires again. This one goes wide. Etienne there first. Played in the corner, unable to get it around, and Phil's going to play it up. Phil gets through his man, but not only as far as Chris, who's able to bring it around and play it up the other way, where Brian will fall on it. For those wondering, Brian is the uh, replacement goalie for the Snake Eyes. Their regular goalie is Suds, but he is suffering from a back injury. And we have all four men lined up. Ron, they're trying to take it from Tony. Cannot do so. It is Pat playing it to Abe. Rishi clears on second try, looking for Jess. Amy keeps it in the corner. No, Jess able to keep it alive. Playing it back to Ron, up to the middle to Gavin. Gets it through Tony, to looking for Joe. Joe can't quite get it around Pat. Pat in the corner. And this one is going to be lobbed back down the other way, where Rishi is there first. Corner, Rishi off the tip. Joe tries for it. He can't quite handle it, and Brian snares it out of the air for the faceoff. Gold won the meeting during the regular season. In fact, one through four was 15 0 and 1 against five through eight during the regular season, even though they were in different divisions, which explains why we have one through four and five through eight. Now that no way kept in by Jess. Looking for Ron and able to get there. Rishi cannot but keep it. Uh, Joe for Snake Eyes' rule is offside. Doesn't matter now. Everybody is in the back. Played up to me. Bounces off of my foot all the way to the back. Amy able to control it. Brings it up to Tony. Tony back to Pat. Pat gets it around Gavin. No, Gavin able to keep it. Now Gavin and Rishi trying to fight for it. Ball is kept. Forcing a reset, and Amy's shot is too soon. Tony ruled offside. That's going to bring this one all the way back to the defensive zone. Wholesale line change now. The starters are back in for gold. Kelly able to control it. Tries to get it around to Etienne. Phil badgering them both. Kept in by Ozette. The only is... Wait, wait. Angelo now trying to be a triple team. Oh, knocked ahead by Kelly, and Brian is able to hold on to it. And no, he tried to play it. Angelo with the steal. Ball is loose in front. Nobody able to control it. Kelly and Jess racing to it. And it will be Kelly given possession. Plays it out of the corner, up to Etienne. Etienne has it stolen by Phil. Phil now with a chance. He shoots saved by Roger, and we're going to have a face off the other way. 11 minutes, 15 seconds left in the first period. Still no score at this point. Phil and Angelo now. Play back. Up the side. Covered by his head. But no. Snake Eyes are ruled offside, so any shot they get will just result in a dead ball. Etienne plays it up to Angelo. Angelo looking back to Etienne. Oh, he slips going for it. And Phil, ironically, is able to pick up the damage. Again, Snake Eyes are offside. Again, Gold is able to cover. Etienne with a shot. This one just off the post on the outside. Etienne has it again. Gets around Kelly. Plays it to the middle. There's Chris with the ball. He's going to look. The shot is blocked going in. Now the other Chris. Both teams have a Chris and both teams have a female named Kelly, so just live with that. Etienne unable to get the shot in. First try, second try, slides. He does so, unable to get anything going. Now Kelly. Can't get it around Angelo, only as far as Chris. Chris playing it forward. This ball goes way over everybody to Etienne. He's going to bat it out of the air and gets it in. 
A wild shot falls to Etienne. He has to try and time it just right. Bats it out of the air and manages to knock it past Brian in goal. It is 1-0 to gold. Ten minutes left here in the first period. Up goes Abe. Trying to get around the defense, looking for Tony. Cannot do it. Abe controls again, but only as far as Ron for Snake Eyes. Gets it around Amy. You have a two-on-one here. Shot by Ron. That one is tipped harmlessly aside. Ron is being chased by Pat now. In the corner, gets in front. Roger able to tip it away. Abe the other way. Abe now, one on two. What can he do with it? Slides it up, tries to take a shot. This one goes around Brian and into the corner. Tony is there first. And after, and that whistle was simply to alert people to possession the goal. He's going to lob this one in the air. Goes all the way to the corner. Nobody touching it. This for Snake Eyes is there first. Amy now. Plays it back in, looking for Abe. Swing and a miss on the shot. Follows through. That one is in. Persistence pays off for Abe on that one. Amy passes it to him. He misses on the first try, but stays with it. Second try is a backhander past the goalie. It is 2-0. We have eight minutes, 40 seconds left here in the first period. 2-0 to gold. Abe controls the face off, but can't get anywhere with it. Ron looking for Chris, nothing happening. Chris controls in the corner. This one is tipped away by Roger, pro forma. Up the side goes Abe. He's looking for Tony, but Pat steals it away instead. Pat's gonna have a shot. That one goes high and wide. Now Tony. Underneath. It's the clear. Back to Amy. Amy will take a shot. That goes through everybody and in. Miscommunication on the defense as Amy is able to five hold two different defenders. A totally screened goalie Brian could do nothing about it. It is three nothing gold, and it appears we are in for a clear winner. Three nothing now with about eight minutes left in the first period. Phil's going to take a shot. This one goes as far as that's can. It brings up to Chris, brings it to Angelo. Angelo's going to shoot from the point. Now it's saved by Brian. Rebound by Chris. That one's knocked away by Brian as well. Chris in the corner trying to get it around two players. Cannot do so. Janelle has it. Janelle bringing it up. Trying to get it around Chris. Cannot do so. Chris passes to Angelo. Oh, nobody home. Angelo now looking for the top player. Gets it around. Chris plays it back. That is a shot. That is a miss. Shot by Etienne, and that is going to be held by Brian. Etienne is one of the three goals in this game, all of which has been just a result of persistence and effort. Etienne with the first, Abe the second, Amy the third. It is 3-0 as Jess plays it back the other way. Roger comes out of his crease to play this one deep. A little bit of mix-up in the corner. This one is played deep, nobody there. Back the other way, Angelo has it. Angelo looking for the middle, but it's tipped away by Rishi. He's gonna try and bring it around. Nobody there. Angelo trying again, can't get it around his man. Passes to the middle, this one is tipped away. Chris is able to keep it in. Pass Joe, shot by Etienne, saved by Brian. Beautiful tip, but even more beautiful save. Can't quite return the favor to Angelo. Angelo in the corner being guarded by Jess. Brings it out to Chris, Chris is gonna have his way. No, passes it in. Oh, dummy play by Angelo, but it's still tipped away by Brian. Now, Joe, playing it up. Can't quite get it around. Jess plays it. This is going to be ruled onside, so Roger has to make a move on it. Tips it forward for Chris to play. Up to Kelly. Kelly clears it into the Snake Eye bench where Etienne is able to recover it first for gold. Iron Man gold. Plays it back to the middle to Chris. Chris is going to give it to Etienne. That one cannot be tipped in. Angelo tries. He can't get it either. Cleared by Jess off the foot, but only as far as Chris. He's going to take a shot. That one is blocked by Rishi. Now, Angelo can't get anywhere. Plays to Kelly. Kelly, back to Angelo. That one is too high. Drops in front of Brian. Who's going to fall on it? Brian has it. We're going to have a face off. Five minutes, 35 seconds left in the first period. Three nothing to score. Face off is eventually won by Ron. He's going to play it forward to Chris. Only as far as Abe, his shot is tipped by Chris into the corner. Abe trying to get around Gavin. 
finally succeeds in doing so, but can't find Amy. This ball is going to go. No, saved by the bench. It stays in. Pat able to keep it in. Only as far as Jess, and Jess is able to clear it. Now the Snake Eyes are on side. This is a legal play. Ron tries to get around Amy. Looks for a centering pass. Gets it to Chris. There's the shot blocked by Roger. Back the other way. Gavin keeps it in. Only as far as Tony. Tony to Pat. That one is blocked by Chris. Tony has it. Plays it up to Abe. Everybody's on side. It looks like shot goes wide. Saved by Brian. Jess in the corner, playing it up. Plays it to Ron. We have not seen any of Kelly for Snake Eyes, which is kind of strange. Now Jess, nice play, but Abe is there. Kept in by Gavin. Pat controls it. He's going to play it up only as far as Tony who tips it up and knocks it into the far wall. Gavin is there first now. Kelly comes in. Chris controlling on the side. It's it around. Oh, plays it back. Gavin is there, though. He'll control the emergency. Play it up the other way. We have about 4.05 left in the first period now. The score remains 3-0 in favor of gold. No, that did not cross the line ahead of time. Tony broke too soon, able to come back before any trouble. Gets her as Abe tries to take it around two people. Cannot do so. Chris keeps it in. Chris now the other way. Oh, Amy able to play defense and keep him from getting to it. Amy to Pat. Pat looking to play it up. Passes across to Abe. Abe going to play it up to Tony, but miscommunication means this one's going to go harmlessly into the corner. Tony does get there first. No, no, no. Back up, give him two feet. Yeah. It's his ball. Two feet. There you go. Gavin forced a step back. There's the pass. This one gets past everybody, and Phil is going to chase it down. Phil has to pull it up because of an offside issue. And can only get as far as Amy when he does. Now, uh-oh, Rishi with the steal from Amy, but Amy recovers it nicely. Now Phil has it for Snake Eyes. He's being asked to shoot. Can only get as far as Pat with a good block. This one goes into the corner. Bad hop off the bench, goes straight to Phil. Snake Eyes have reset, long shot. That's stopped by Chris, doesn't even get to Roger and goal. And will be cleared by Chris. Now Gavin has it. Trying to play up to Kelly, cannot do so. Passes it to Kelly, that shot is wide. Yeah. Tony looks to get it to Kelly. Can't get around the double team of Gavin and Rishi. Phil is able to clear the other way. We have 2.30 left in the first head, in the first period. Now Chris bringing the ball up. Gets it to Abe, no pass to Abe. It's gonna be a race between Abe and Rishi for the ball. Abe gets there first. Over to Chris, long shot, that one's blocked. Brian able to knock it away. He's left an open net for the wraparound. Angelo fakes it, goes back the other way. Now Chris to Kelly the other way. Phil can't quite tip it away. Ball gets loose and Angelo has it. Angelo with a bad swing bounces off of Brian to three snake eyes, all of whom combine to clear it. But only as far as Chris at the center. Chris passes to Abe, Abe looking for a second. He cuts it in the middle. This one is saved by Brian and he's gonna fall on it. We have two minutes left here in the first period. Three nothing gold. A little frustration by Abe. He thought he had his second goal of the game. Face off is one to Etienne. He passes it across to Chris. There's a shot. That one is blocked by Brian. Good save. Rishi unable to clear it twice. Chris tries only as far as Angelo. He's going to shoot and score. A defensive mix up by the Snake Eyes. The ball falls to Angelo at point blank range. Gets it past Brian. It is 4 0 gold. Four different goal scorers. We have about 60 seconds left here in the first period. Chris with the steal, but only as far as Gold's Chris. It is 4-0 Gold. They have been dominant in this period. Now Angelo playing on the side. Looks for Etienne, can't quite tap it home. Kelly has a mistake, gets it back to Etienne. Etienne to the center. There's Chris with the ball. He's going to shoot. That one goes wide. Etienne with a follow through. That is held by Brian for the face off. Etienne again thought he had a second goal. Face off between Chris of Snake Eyes and Angelo of Gold. So goes back into the gold area, is able to be recovered by Etienne to Kelly. Kelly plays it forward to Chris. Chris now looking in the middle. There's Etienne. He's going to take a shot. That's saved by Brian. But he doesn't see it. Ball is loose. Tries to zip it over. Cannot do so. Brian had no idea where the ball went. Thought he was on it. Wasn't. 
Etienne was able to clear it, was able to get it, tried to chip it over Bryant, could not do so. Etienne with one more shot, that one's going to go wide, cleared by Snake Eyes. You hear the countdown, we're going to end the first period 4-0 in favor of goal. Wow.